Hey everyone, this is Kevin from the chesswebsite.com, and today we're going to be looking at the in game king and rook versus king. And it's very similar to the king and queen in game, as we're basically going to try to bring our rook and minimize the squares that the black king can go to, and just continue to march our rook up the board until the black king is checkmated. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. First move, we're going to move rook to e7, and you can already see we've already limited the black king to these three files the f file, the g file, and the h file. So the black king can only move in these spots. And let's say the black king moves to g5. He's now limited his space even more. We can just bring our rook to to f7, and we've already now limited the king to two files, the g file and the h file. Now let's say the black king continues and attacks our, our rook. Obviously, we're not going to come down to the g file now. But then we can simply bring our rook down to f1 away from the danger of the black king's attack and the black king is still limited to these two files the g file and the h file now obviously the black king is going to continue to come down if he does move back to the h file then we can simply bring our rook even closer and limit the moves so more than likely you'll see the black king start to come toward your rook now we can bring our white king into the mix and if black continues down now we can simply bring our rook to g1 and this is this situation right here is what you want if you ever want to force black to move back a file or a row depending on which setup you have this is kinda of what you want you want the king and the both kings looking at each other with one space in between and you want your rook bring it to the file that the king the black king is on and the black king is forced to move. He can't come to f5, f4, f3 because of the king, and he ha can't move along the g file because of the rook here. So he's forced to move back to the h file. And when he does move, you can see he's limited to the h file here because of our rook on the g file. So from here, you may see. From here, we're simply going to bring our king into the mix. Obviously, we want our king. If it's our move right here, it'd be checkmate. We go to h1, but we want to bring our king into the mix. Our h, our rook is on a great square already, so we're going to go ahead and leave that there. From here, black is going to move. Obviously, his only chance is to come and attack our rook, and right away we're just going to move our rook so that he can't come any closer. So we're going to go ahead and bring our rook to g8. It doesn't matter if you do it in a couple moves. It's not going to make a big difference. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of harm's way because now if he tries to come back and come to our rook, let's say to h5, then we can simply move to h8 and it'll be checkmate because that's the situation that we want. So he's probably not going to do that. You'll probably see the black king run away. And then we can simply start marching our king down the board chasing him. If he ever moves back, again, we can just move our rook to h8. It's going to be checkmate. But it's going to be checkmate eventually anyway. So black continues to move back down the board we continue marching he moves to h1 and from here we can simply move our king to f2 and then his only move is to move back to h2 and we can simply move rook to h8 checkmate so this is the easy way to checkmate a king with your king and rook hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already please subscribe thanks for watching the video i'll see you guys next time